Hey guys, today we're in Wombat State Forest. As much as it's a pretty small place, it's a pretty big place, and there's a lot of tracks out here. Been coming out here for many years, and I certainly haven't been on all the tracks, and quite a few, and they do change over time. So any information I give you, it can be different from the time of the video to the time you come here, so bear that in mind. Don't come alone and always be prepared for anything. Today we're going to, we've come in from Carroll's Lane, which if you follow the Bacchus Marsh Gisborne Road up towards Gisborne, you'll find Carroll's Lane. We've come in there, kept on to, I think it's, what's it called at the moment, Firth Road or something like that, after Carroll's Lane, it's gone at the start. Sorry about that, a bit, bit rough here, a bit rough, a little bit corrugated. You get a lot of two-wheel drive vehicles going in and out of here. If you follow this straight through on the correct road, O'Brien's Road, takes you to O'Brien's Crossing uh, for those people that want a really easy day, nice place to go for a bit of a picnic if you like, you know, take the family for lunch, could be busy in there, especially after uh, everybody sees this video. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to make much difference, not too many people seeing this video at the moment and you know how people are when they see a video but whether they like it or not, they don't go back and watch that channel's older videos, which might have some really awesome information there. A bit of entertainment for you too. So, we're going to come up to another intersection up here. Uh, the road splits off a couple of different directions. I'll uh, try and remember to let you know which way we go there. And our first track for the day once we get to it. So just a little few minutes up the track. O'Brien's Road, there's an orange sign on the right there. <clears throat> Looks like you're hitting a track, but you're not. To where we're going today towards Lerdadur Campground 7Ks. As it says, welcome to Lerdadur State Park. So Lerdadur State Park is kind of like the left side or the lower side of Wombat on the Bacchus Marsh end of things. You know, once you get across the Greendale, uh, Blackwood or Road to Trentham, whatever, the other side's all Wombat. This side, the south end is Lerdadurg at the moment and the north end is Wombat State Forest. So if I remember correctly, we're driving along, this is the border, okay? So this is the border between Lerdadurg and Wombat. On our left, basically Lerdadurg. On our right, Wombat. Something along those lines anyway. You can check your own map. Just want to give you a bit of info. So we're following along O'Brien's Road now and I'll let you know where the next turn is. Okay, so this one on the right, Digger's Track, okay, Digger's Track, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Digger's. Um, Digger's goes down to the river and then it cuts off northwest and last time we came up from the top of it, so down to the river's probably alright, the rest of it's usually not too bad. But it was like a dog's breakfast with bog holes. It was like a pig pen. And we're not interested in those pig pen bog hole things. Maybe we should go and have a look at it. But mm, maybe not today. So we're going to continue on to the track we do go up. And I'll let you know what it is. But if I was you, if you like a bit of fun and action and winching, because you may need to do that, take diggers. But we're going to continue on. All right, so we just uh, pulled up here. This is Upper Chadwick Track. On the right, Lerted a Campground. So we're going to follow that down. Haven't been down there for years. If I remember correctly, that'll um, join on to the one we went past and said no to. But then we can come back up the other one. So we're going to go for a look anyway. So this has completely changed since I was down here years ago. On the right here, we've got Lerted Campground. Okay. So I'm assuming this track continues through like it used to. There's three cars in there. We've got a Fiat Fremont, a Volkswagen, a couple of Volkswagens, right? So um, they're your typical two-wheel drive campsite walkers. Um, a lot of new signage. There's a wallaby for you. 
just sitting there on the right. Hopping, he's hopping along a little bit, but anyway. Um, wallaby on the right, just there near the tree, in case you've never seen one. <laughs> I'm doing a video, so careful what you say. <laughs> um, yeah, this has just changed a lot. So there's, um, they put gravel down, oh, yeah. blue metal all the way down the track here. Uh, it's just so, really, just so commercialised compared to how it used to be. Um, look, I haven't been down here for years. Like I said, I haven't seen anything like it down here. It's starting to feel like somewhere in Wilson's Promontory or something, you know? So we've got another camp over here on the left. At least he's in a Prado. Prado, let's go and have a look and see if he's got an Oz Prado crew sticker. Victorian, uh, uh, number plate ending in 024. Uh, with his adventure, whatever. Look at this camp area, guys. This is crazy. Have a look at this. Didn't even know this was here, guys. As far as I know, this is very new to me. Anyway, we'll continue down along the gravel road and see what else we're going to learn. So this is pretty cool, right? So it's a bit of a... It's, a, it's not a hard Do thing to... Away? It's not a... Yeah, just wait there, mate. Just videoing for a sec. It's not a hard track to come down, but I'll show you. Look, what, what's that? A Vector or something? Vector CD. So all these little campsites they've put in, right? And... Uh, people coming down in their Vectras and all sorts of things, which is what, you know, you know, you can see the cars moving around a bit. It's not a perfectly flat track. Uh, <laughs> I just reckon it's, you know, like it's, you can do it, right? So they can drive up this side, but look, you know, if it was wet, it could be a bit slippery. It's a little bit washed out anyway. Uh, interesting. All right. So we've come to where the two tracks intersect, whatever the names of them were, whatever the first one I said, you know, it goes down to the river, it's usually not too bad. Up the other side turns into a dog's breakfast. We passed that, we went down the next one, whatever it was called, you can rewind. Went through a whole heap of campsites, which to my knowledge are fairly new, well signposted, a lot of new clear areas, and there's a lot of people in there with vans and two-wheel drives and whatever, so even though it's not a national park yet, I don't know if this part's gonna be part of what may become the national park. Uh, it's very much like a national park now. There's toilet facilities and whatever. So you've got a nice little place to go camping if you like camping with neighbours. Um, now we're getting down to the bottom where I'll call it more of a creek. It's like a, a couple little bog holes maybe. We're just going to check those out. We're going to go through those. Obviously it's not too bad. You can see those. And if I remember correctly, it's hang a right turn. So these are where the tracks join. Remember we said we're not going to go up one was Digger's track, and then we went, was it up at Chadwick, we actually went down and we got at the bottom here, we got a bog hole, which is probably not too bad, but this is just the beginning of the crap that's up the other side of the track. And I'm gonna, the way I check bog holes quite often is to just slowly drive through it. It's probably not too bad. Um, I'll risk it for the biscuit. I'm not gonna be, there you go, see? I'm not going to be up to my sills in that, if you know what I mean. Uh, up to up to my, you know, it's not going to be deep, deep. Anyway, we're going to go up the other side of this track just to check the condition of it. I'll add a little bit more video on if there's anything uh, exciting, gnarly going on. We're probably not going to continue our way through actually because I've seen the other end of it. I think it was earlier this year or up there, and it was just a real dog's breakfast, real mess. I call it a pig pen, you know just a real mud mess uh, but I just thought we'll just have a bit of a sniff up this end of things to see what it's like have been up here for a while let's check it out and see huh? not a bad bit of track you know there's a few washouts and stuff here right um, a good I'd call it a more of a kind of a, a beginner track a little bit technical if the Hilux does it all right look at that beautiful just a little bit you know roughed up in places
so you know it's a good little track it's kind of like uh how do i say you know i don't want to say it's easy it's easy for experienced experienced driver look to a point so up here somewhere you might turn around so what we'll do we've been in from the other end we've gone this far we might as well follow it up until it gets to a point of turning around um but it's not a steep track you're not really going to get yourself into trouble now disclaimer you can always get yourself in trouble i don't know what your skill level and experience is but generally general information uh it's not a steep track it's not flat now and that's the problem because it's not steep the water can sit around so once we get up to this area a bit further up all these flat areas that's you know there's no more fun as far as a little bit steeper and rough technical tracks that's what we like we like a bit rough technical where i've got to stop and think and go oh how are we going to get through this where wheel placement what gear what speed what amount of throttle or brakes or whatever right so okay so here's a bit of an example you know just to think a little bit so at the moment we're looking at another little hill it's obvious this tracks obviously hasn't had maintenance for a while so it's got a good washout on it there's two ways you can do this right depends if you want a bit of pinstripe or not okay so you can go to the left but you're going to scrape the left no big deal i'll just let him on the radio here you could go up the left or if you want to avoid the bushes what i'm going to do is just straddle the washout i'm not scared of the hole in the middle of the track um, you've got to watch over what's over the next hump of course but uh so pick your side no big deal i'll wait for you here and uh you know like that guys right so i'm just gonna wait so we can see which way i've gone of this track look by the looks of it a bit further up it could be a little bit more entertaining okay so full driving 101 quite often we say stay in the ruts it's your safest place right so yes okay let's do that for a moment why is that well if things went pear-shaped it's kind of like tram tracks you're locked in it's kind of your safest place but it might not be your safest place in respect to vehicle damage because you're in the your tires are in the depth of the ruts so therefore whatever's in the middle is more likely to scrape under your vehicle and there's a lot of sharp rocks and stuff in there so why would you do that when you're on a hill depending on your confidence level i'm going to get out of the ruts right i like to straddle ruts a lot again right so i'm up on the high ground now my tires are up on the high ground and all the washout and everything's underneath the vehicle that's how i roll but it's different so if you've got a wet slippery track that's got ruts cut out on it you don't want to cut your own track because if things don't work out and you end up sliding backwards you could go sideways and the car could be pointing 180 degrees in the opposite direction very quickly so it all depends on traction if you've got traction and you've got a really rough track it may pay to avoid the ruts and pick the high ground the most level ground for the vehicle to keep the tires on the ground anyway moving on all right so we're coming down to a typical bog hole when i say typical you know it's not too bad it's not too good and i actually need to think about it before i get there so in the ruts is going to be your deepest place you can see where everyone in the middle there they've dragged their diff you know what i mean you can see that spot right in the middle of the picture at the bottom in between the main ruts you kind of don't want that if you can avoid it so you could obviously the higher ground is well you've got a couple options you could put your see the furthest rut to the right you could put your right tire just to the left of that and your left tire is probably going to be on that high, highest ground but you could slip to the left and end up in the deepest ruts or you could put your left tire on the high ground that's high and dry and put your right tire right in the middle where everyone's been dragging their diffs that would probably be my option this isn't a hard one to get through or anything like that i don't think there's any soft ground there but we're about to find out Right, you know, it could be mushy under here. I'm going to go slow. Whoa, it wants to slide sideways. Should have used a bit more momentum on that one, but that's okay. You know, that worked fine. So, lucky if we got the rims wet on that one. Beautifully done. Uh, we've come across a little section about halfway along that's got a little rock step in it i do remember this from years ago but it didn't have as much as a step as this now sorry about the sun it might be in your eyes but our options are left right or center if you go center there's a better chance you're going to hit something 
So I'd suggest to pick a side. I'd probably say the left side looks smoother if you went right. So there's a bit of a step on the left side, but your right tyre is going to be on slightly smoother ground than if you went to the right. You'd have a smoother on your right tyre, but your left tyre's got a bigger step. So 120, no lockers, just LSD coming up gently. Right, and then gently going to ease it up. That second start, I consider, oh, you know what, we'll go back to first for this one, right? Just let it do it a bit easier, see, just want, and then gently slow. It's all about slowing gently, guys. Yeah, we're pointing to the sky and all that. The back sitting at the bottom of the step, and with the right tire pressure and traction, the wheels are spinning. That's where we can either back up and use a bit more momentum, let the tires down a bit more, or in this case, show you how the front locker transforms the vehicle. Nothing, spinning all four wheels. Okay, so we're gonna take the locker off again. Right, we're gonna go back a little bit. So it just goes to show how it does transform the vehicle. And we're spinning all four wheels, but it's important to do this very slow and gently and keep the car pointing straight in the correct direction. And a little bit more momentum may work. Didn't take much, see what I mean? Anyway, I'll get a video of the uh, other car coming up. All right, so now we're gonna take the Hilux over it. Nice and slow is the way we like to do things the first time. Oh, look at that. That's with no traction aids. Just gently there, because if you drop down, you might hit your bull bar a little bit on the rock. So, yeah, when it's traction control off-road mode should be on. So without the rear locker on, let's do that again and see what happens. And just keep on the gas a bit this time and see what happens. Yeah, that's good. I like it. All right, nice and slow. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful, look at that. Woohoo! Now that you're up that hill, is the oil light off? Yes. Now that you're up that hill, the oil light's off, yeah? Yes. Beautiful. Must be a bit steep if the oil light come on. I don't see that in 1KDs. I've been up some pretty steep hills. Anyway, let's go! So when we get to a bog hole like this, this is where you got to remember mud equals money. And it doesn't really matter if you can make it or not. If you try and go this side on the left, sorry about the dark, it's the way the light is try and go here you could slip into something nasty so i wouldn't really try that i'm not even going to bother checking how deep it is because it's just long messy and it's mud equals money um if you can fit through these trees so dirt bikes are okay if you can fit through there and up that side you'd be okay if another couple of trees are out but we've got a bypass over here which always it looks like the chicken track but it could be the not chicken track if you know what i mean uh, but it could be the mistake as well because you've got to really check out the chicken tracks before you drive them sometimes. Again here, lots of tree roots. You know, you're going to put a root through a tyre or something like that. Maybe, whatever. So obviously I'm doing a bit of a walk through it right now. And we're going to make a decision whether it's worthy of quality Toyotas. Alright, so we're taking the chicken track. We're gonna do a little thing where I try and stay out of the ruts. I don't know if it's gonna work. It looks like some other people have done that too. They might have to fold the mirror in. We'd probably we'd make it through in the ruts. I'm just gonna, it's more of a bit of R and D. So just folding that mirror in a little bit. I'd rather stay out of the ruts. The high ground looks good to me. So I'll put the mirror back so I can see the back of the car. Because we picked the track in summer we can pick our line. If it was winter, it'd be wet and slippery on top. Oh, the back slid in anyway, so the back's in the ruts, whether you like it or not. But I don't foresee any big dramas getting through this bypass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting a bit slippery sideways there, a bit of fun. So, um, yeah, look, you know, you've got your options, guys, anyway. And we, as I said, we'll probably be coming back through this track anyway. It was just more of a... Let's see what the rest of the track's like so we can give you a report for those that like a bit of 
action. All right, now we're bringing the Hilux through, same thing. Nice and close to that tree there to stay out of the ruts. It'll probably slide in. I'd go a little bit more right hand down towards that tree. Keep it going straight, yeah. The back, just take it real slow because the back will probably slip on this corner anyway. But we've avoided what we can for the most part. That's it. Hug that tree close as you can. Nicely done. Just watch your head out the window on that um, because when it drops in, you might uh, pop it in the head or something. Just keep following around like nice and slow. There you go, the back's sort of coming into the ruts now. But that's all right. Whoa, you nearly got mud on me. <laughs> that's what we knew was gonna happen sooner or later. Nicely done, mate. Just cruise it now, straight ahead, go straight. Straight, nice and slow. That way, at least you've got the front out of the ruts. Up. Yeah, go up on the high ground, mate, that's it. I just go, you may as well, you've got nothing, it's just smooth, there's less roots, there's less risk of punches. The back might stay in, but at this side here, it's pretty shallow anyway, the mess. Mate, it's not that deep anyway, but hey, let's avoid what we can. And see that slide in like that, guys, that's what I mean, if you did this in winter, you got no control, you know, trying to get out of ruts and stuff like that. Anyway, we're through this one, let's get to the next one. All right, so this is the first major pig pen. This one in front of me was always a traditional dirty big bog hole. Let's go and have a look. Right, so years ago, we come up here. I reckon the first time we come up here, you know, about 10 years ago, um, we, we come across a bunch of cars in here. Man, 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 all that. But you could drive past it this side. And hey, actually, you probably, actually, we can. Because it's, again, it's the summer thing, right? So these tracks here, it's all dry. We just put our tires on the right because there was another track off up to the side up way over there in the bush somewhere might have been going to a campsite but i thought it might have been a bypass like this but today this bypass so in winter this might even be impassable because you're just going to get slide into these ruts here and get bogged which is all right if you got a winch and all that no problem right but because it is a pig pen well, it's the start of the pig pen, and we're here while it's dry on top. See the sun shining on it? We're just going to come down here and put our tyres, our left one right here. I'm not going to go this side for the simple reason, left tyre here. You could, but if you muck up, you're going to end up, bonk, on the left side in the bog hole, right? So we want to stay right away from the deep stuff. We're going to go on the right side here. Let's get on through. All right, so this is an easy one, but it's always worth stopping and thinking and having a look. and. Worst case scenario, you slide into these ruts. They're not going to be that deep, but it's a straight, you know, drive around just like that. Happy days. So that's the way we do it. We just drive along, bada bing, you know, you might have, see how, this is where you got to practice your driving, guys, when you're out on the motorways, hitting those cat eyes to learn where the left side of your vehicle is. All right, here's another one that you could drive around, or you could even just, because it's dry, so it's not an issue, right? That's why it's worth checking out tracks in the, uh, look, it's a bit of a play area. You're close to Melbourne, you know, Wombat State Forest, everybody wants to come and have a play. You just got to be careful you don't get caught out on one of the tracks that somebody wants to have a play on, you know. They come out in winter, it's all wet and muddy. There was another bigger bypass track around that. I don't know where it comes in or out or if it went, oh, here we go. Now, this is the pig pen I was talking about. Yeah, we might be going back over that one anyway. <laughs> now we're at the major pig pen. I'm going to drive up a bit closer. Let's go and have a look at this mess. Holy manoli. Holy cow, Batman. What is going on here? So, you've got this slop pit to get through first, which may or may not work out okay. But let's go and have a look. And if you watch our other videos on Full Before Touring Australia, you may well see the video where another time Earlier in the year, we came to the other end there, and not far up there, we turned around. We could probably get through if we wanted to. Now, let's look at the options. Okay, this is a pretty cool option. Let's go and have a look into this. If anybody wants a winch challenge, um, your car wreck, a pig pen, whatever, I'm not going any further than that, right? Yeah, she's about, uh, well, the part out of the water is probably 1.3, 1.4 deep, you reckon, and then you've got into the water. So. If you don't want to go up the Cape, but you want to go to Gunshot, 
This is your gunshot in Melbourne, guys. Gunshot in Melbourne. Maybe that's what we'll call this video. Gunshot in Melbourne. You come from the other side and you drop into there and your bull bar goes bang on the ground and gets covered in mud. And maybe you get stuck there, maybe you don't. You can't even get your winch to pull yourself out. So figure that one out. It's a car wrecker, okay? So we're not going there. That's what we call a car wrecker. This track's a car wrecker. We can't drive up that side. We could drive up the middle and fall in and we'd be hanging with a wheel each side there, so we can't do that. Now let's have a look at these pig pen options, okay? This is a slippery pig pen option. Let's see, so now that we're here in, oh look, we've got a hard ground here. If this was winter, I'd be sinking it. See this? This is why summer track. There's a possibility we can get through this section here. We'll look a bit further. Oh, but do we want to? We just don't want to, even if we could. Could we get through there? We'd be battling out, scraping. But we, if we had to, we could get the shovel out. We could chip a bit off the middle of that and throw it into the hole and a few things like that and make a track. But do we need to do that? No. Okay, so that's not an option. Next option, across. That's a bloody a pig. I'd love a bath in that. You know, that's a pig pen. <laughs> so that's the third option, that pig pen. And... Uh, and this is the last option, and now you know why we call it a pig pen. And we could certainly get the shovel out. This is fairly dry, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, we could certainly get the shovel out, throw some dirt into these holes. Not logs, you know, logs there, uh, have a stick. We, we could, look, we could even get through here without doing anything, but we're gonna scrape here and there, which is all right. That's why we've got underbody protection, but you know, I don't wanna do that, it looks messy. Do you wanna do this? No. no I don't. <laughs> Right, uh, the rest of it looks, we'd have to go further to check that out. There's a few ruts up there even, but the rest of it looks all right. It's doable, but nah. I did see a track off to the side, further back. Let's go back to that and follow that because we are here to explore. We know where this goes. We've been there before. We can get through if we needed to, but let's go and take that side track on the right back there. What do you reckon? Let's do that. Okay, so this is where reversing matters. This will all make sense if all the videos go together in order, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not going to spend too much time on it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. You get the picture. We went up a track. This part was easy to get past. We got to the pig pen. That's the worst of it on the whole track, I can tell you, from each end I've been um, this year. And that's the worst of it. Just not interested in it. I did see a very interesting track here on my right coming down, which is now on my left. We're going to go and have a look, see where that goes. It looks a lot more interesting. And it looks like it's been a little bit used, probably an old mining track by the looks of the material on it. Anyway, I'll let you know if there's anything eventful down here. Oh, we've got another bog hole on this track, this side track we've taken. Nobody's been in this for a while. Oh no, it's going to be a mess. I'm just going into it a little bit to feel what it's like. No, it's just going straight down, I don't like it. Oh, yucky. Check it out. Alright, so this is the plan. We've checked it out. Nobody's been through it for a while. It seems horrible. I don't like it. But what I'm going to do, try and hit the mirror on the left tree. And hopefully it's going to keep me out of it. But I'm going to use a bit of momentum because it's going to want to slip me in. And then worst case scenario, I slip in. Uh, hopefully by then, it's... Do you mind? Yeah, fold that mirror in. Thanks, mate. Hopefully if I slip in... By then, I'm through most of it, if you know what I mean. So this is where judgment again, I'm going to go sort of close to the tree. A little bit of momentum, here we go. Oh, it's a bit soft in the middle there too, but that was exciting. Job done, no problem. All right, here we go, let's see how Hilux goes. Nicely done, nicely done. Avoided the worst of that disgusting slop pit. Okay, so through there, no problem. Always just like to be extra cautious. Uh, but, you know, mud equals money, the first thing, and I can't be bothered getting stuck and having to get straps out, and then straps get dirty and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, coming out of that, we're going up a hill here that we haven't been up before, and pretty sure this track is on maps.me. And uh, so that's the good news because we haven't been on this track before. It's either this or it joins on the other. Uh, we're pretty close to a main road. We could just about mow these trees down and make a track. No, no, just joking. Anyway, we'll keep cruising up here if any other events happen. We'll let you know. Oh, no.
no, another bog hole. But we've gone so far to have to avoid this and go back. Oh no, we've got a fresh chicken track around it. Beautiful. Oh, that one doesn't look too bad. We might get around it, but you know what? Better option. When we do these, it's always looking out for sticks if someone's chopped a tree and left it, you know, sticking out in the ground a little bit. Yeah, careful you don't hit the trees because you may damage your vehicle. But that one worked all right. And this track comes down and hits the main road. What's the name of this road again? I think it's uh, Firth Road. So Firth Road. So what we'll do, we'll turn left onto Firth. We'll go up a little bit, turn left onto Chettle. And that's normally where that other track we're on, uh, what's it called again? Digger's track, where everyone does the digging, where it normally finishes. But we'll continue straight down Chettle. And I'll let you know the next turn for this trip. All right, turning left. See the orange sign, Chettle turning left just a little track I've decided to check out I think it's just a little short dead-end track but I haven't been up it before uh, quite steep and a little bit rough and you don't know unless you have a go so I'm gonna go up until I get to a point of I've got wet tires too just had to go through a little bog hole type thing to uh, get to this At the moment I'm still okay to reverse down if it's a dead end but if it gets to the point that it's impassable and I can't get up there, I don't want to go past the point that I'm not happy to reverse down. Yeah. I don't know if it goes to a campsite or what, but anyway, not really anything too eventful so far. I'm curious as to where it goes though. I've seen this track a number of times driving past it. You know those ones for the people that do a few tracks and you know you kind of go where does that go but we'll check it next time well this is that next time and uh by the looks of it i think this is it so i don't know how a track even gets there that's a dead end there's nothing going left nothing going right it's a turn around and come back down so i think it's a you know prove yourself type track but see it wasn't even a challenge was it so now the challenge is turning around on the side of a hill, because that's what this is. Uh, just give me a sec, mate. And uh, so, got the others waiting down the bottom of the hill. So the challenge is knowing what sort of angles you can go on on the side of a hill to turn around to be able to then go back down. Like I said, you know, videos and photos never show you the true I can see the tree behind me that people have hit turning around. Um, so you've got to be careful with that. Just be careful going up tracks so you don't know where they go. Because there's some crazy dead end ones like this. I can tell you how steep it is. I've got a couple of drinks in the drink holders. I haven't even got on the steep part yet. And they're leaning. They want to fall forward. Just coming back down, mate. Just uh, doing a little video to show people in case... You know, uh, I don't know why really, uh, don't bother going up little side tracks that don't mean anything, you know. So it goes straight back down, there's a creek at the bottom. Um, so we've checked it out, now we know where it goes, it is a dead end. I, what I'm trying to say is, I don't know how tracks, like how did this track get here? Like, what's the point of a track that's a dead end type track, if you know what I mean? Uh, usually, if someone's going to put a track in, it goes somewhere. So we've got uh, back wheels dropping off, drop-offs and all sorts of things. So the main thing is to keep it pointing straight down the hill when it's steep like this. Nice and slow, first low. No big deal, you know. Being on steeper, rougher tracks, whatever. So we'll call it a day. A little bit of entertainment for you, maybe. Okay, so here we are at XL Track. It runs both north and south. We're going to turn left and head south. Maybe I went on the wrong side, but look, I've been up and down both of these. I've been on the south end, you know, from here a number of times, and I don't remember anything that was hard, challenging, or anything whatsoever. 
and I've also been north the hardest part was driving over a tree that was down in a Hilux that's in when I had a 2011 Hilux anyway you can see on the post there this is a seasonal closure dry conditions four-wheel drive medium so medium isn't a hard track but I've had a number of people lately telling me oh uh, you know oh XL XL you know uh, there's nothing hard on XL what's hard about XL I'm a bit confused as to what the hard part is so we're gonna go and have a look and show you there's a couple of side tracks you know for like a bit like that side track we just had a look at you know one of those waste of time tracks doesn't mean there's not bog holes mud equals money you got to watch those medium rated tracks because they can be car wreckers even though they're rated medium then you can go on a track that's rated difficult and uh, no bog holes because it's a steep hill all the water runs off see what happens on the medium track look at this flat track again more bog holes but look let's see how we go options options so we've got another little bog hole it's not too bad we could probably swing around the left side of it if we picked our line right far left uh, that's probably or we could go hard right because hard right is going to keep us high and dry our left tire it's not going to be too deep in the middle there but let's do this option let's go hard left my right tire is on where the little thin where the bikes went and my left tire sorry did I say that right my left tire is high and dry my right tire where the bikes went Alright, so this is XL track. We've been in high range so far. I think I'm still, yeah, I'm still in high range. So nothing hard about it, or even medium, but, <coughs> excuse me, I just want to show you, this is the crazy bits here. There's a couple of crazy tracks, and I'm not driving up them, I'm just showing them to you. Uh, could I, maybe, they're steep, they're deeply rutted. Uh, it's just a car wreck here, you'd be bellied out. Um, you know, why don't we just drive up it a little bit? We're still in high range, we're just going to push it a little bit, just to give you a closer look at some of the tracks available if this is what you're looking for. I'm going to go until my bash plate touches and then I'm going to back it. There it is. We're, we're bogged mate. No, we're not bogged. We're on, we touch the bash plate. There's no clearance there. The wheels spun a little bit. We're going to back it out of there now. Just showing you what's available. We'll get out and show you more. There's no way I'm putting that vehicle into the damage that's going to be caused going up these hills now that being said before they got this worse i drove up i think up here up here to about there and i went you know what there's just it doesn't go anywhere we're going to go for a walk up there now I'll put some photos in for you but if you actually want a winch a driving challenge or a winch challenge or whatever you want to drag your guts out and test on that cone i'll just show you quickly where I drove up, right? Didn't go far. And how soon the bash plate is scraping from the depth of the ruts. You've got to remember there's people coming out here with, they think they need their big tires and you know, they're on their 35s and 37s. I'm not sure if that's my scrape mark. I don't think so. That's someone else with it. This is my scrape mark there, I believe. See that? That's the bash plate because we drove up, we slipped into that rut there and that's the bash plate. K on, right? flattening out that soil right so you get the picture let's go and have a look at the other side give you an idea of the steepness right okay so we talked about another track we found that was pretty gnarly we're hoping to check it out later today but it might not work out that this one obviously everyone's played on it it's got dug out a bit deeper i'm going to try and walk up it I, I'm not even to the steepest part. I am struggling to get the angle happening and keep traction walking up here. And once you get to that ledge there, it just gets steeper. I cannot show you how steep it is. How steep is this? What do you reckon? It peaks out. When you pop up there, you'd be 45 degrees easy, 45 yeah? 45 easy. Yeah, yeah. So this is crazy stuff, right? If you want to risk it for the biscuit, come down XL track, whichever way you like. And it's before you get down to the river on the north side. You can come here. There's plenty of trees for winching or whatever. We're going to walk up and check it out. But 
I can walk up it. I'm concerned about the walk down because, you know, it's just that steep and, and the traction's just not there. I don't think I want to walk down. That would be bad enough. Anyway, we're going to go for a bit of a look. Stay tuned. We'll see what else we're going to find today. There's an Oz Prada crew jumper climbing up the hill. Um, going up, definitely the easier part. Coming down could be fun. See how that goes. We're just going to let you know if it's a dead end, if it goes anywhere, and what you need to know about. Now is the challenge of walking down the hill. If you can't walk it, you can't drive it. And this is barely walkable. This is Bruce Lee. Very fit and flexible. Light on his feet. And uh, it looks like hard work to me. I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> rocks coming down and he's kicked he kicked rocks anyway good luck with that let us know if you want to come here we'll put it into our list of hard tracks Just coming up toward the end of XL, heading south, where it hits O'Brien's Road. And beware, it is seasonal closures, so it's closed in certain times of the year, the usuals. Coming out of here, we're turning right. Alright guys, so we came out of uh, the end of O'Brien's Road. It's uh, 1 o'clock. We're hungry, we're going to check out the Blackwood probably the pubs uh, haven't been to the pub there before been to other places around here but Greendale pubs okay some people reckon the palm is great I reckon it's all right you know uh, definitely fills a hole uh, so we're coming into Blackwood now we're going to have some lunch and I think that'll be the end of this video so I hope you enjoyed it got something out of it there's another little trip for you that you can follow don't go alone make sure you got recovery gear hopefully you learned something out of it if you want to come on trips with us if you haven't already please subscribe turn the bell on the bells next to that subscribe word so you get the notification and get to see the next trip hopefully there's a little bit entertaining for you i'll be looking in the comments let me know what you think and uh yeah please give us the like button the thumbs up if you like that one thanks for watching guys see ya